Do you think the federal judicial system is systemically racist? Uh, I have presider over those. Uh, yeah, but I'm asking about the federal judicial system. Is it systemically racist? Well, Senator, judges apply the Constitution and laws. In well, but do you any... think the federal, you know what systemic racism is. I mean, it comes up every day now in, in America. And uh, do you believe that the federal judicial system is systemically racist? Well, Senator— uh, You've been a part of it. Yes. I can give you an, an example that uh, the Congress and the Sentencing Commission— uh, I, I appreciate an example. I'm just trying to get an answer. Do you believe it's systemically racist? Senator, that, that's a question I, I cannot answer. And you haven't—you've you, heard these allegations that, that all our institutions are systemically racist, and after 20 years you haven't drawn an opinion? Senator, uh, I can tell you, um, in my court— uh, you, we, But you don't have an opinion about whether the federal judicial system is systemically racist after 20 years? Senator, I have to say no. You think it's not? Or you don't have in an my opinion? Experience, in my experience— the, Wait, let me understand your answer. You think it's not systemically racist, or you don't have an opinion? No, I don't have an opinion. After 20 years? That is correct. And you want to be on the Court of Appeal? Senator, yes. What is your, your barometer for deciding whether a law that's being applied equally is just? Well, on, as a judge, I have cases that come before me, individual cases. So. I'm not asking about a case. I'm asking about philosophy. Well, how, how, do, how do you just personally look at a law and, and determine whether that law, in your judgment, is just? Well, it is, it is not for a judge to determine whether a, ju a law is just or— I'm not asking you as, as a judge. I'm asking you as a person. I'm trying to understand you as a person. And I know you're going to file a precedent, okay? You, you're, you're, you, always. I get that. How do you personally look at a law and decide whether it's just or not? Pretty basic. Well, Senator, that is not the role of a judge to determine if a law is— No, but it's the role of a human being. I'm just trying to get to know you. Do you have a personal definition of justice? Well, Senator, justice, in, in my particular case— I know it's applied equally, but how do we know a law is just or, in, or unjust, in your opinion? Well, Senator, I, 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 as I mentioned, I have to apply the laws as they stand, and I have to make okay, sure— Okay, let's move on, Judge. I don't think you're going to answer. I've always followed the sentencing statute, and— in, I'll stipulate the, that. And, and I have but, to— But I'm asking you about if a person commits a crime, do you see it as a disease— it needs to be cured, or do you see it as antisocial behavior that, that merits punishment? Well, Senator, each individual defendant has to be sentenced individually. I have had individuals who are antisocial, uh, and when you look at the pre-sentence reports, you sentence them accordingly. You have career offender, criminal— uh, uh, You have other individuals who have— Judge, I can't, I can't vote for you if you won't answer my questions. I hate interrupting you, but these are, these are pretty basic questions that I would expect somebody who's been on the federal bench for 20 years to have thought about. The senator's time has expired, Judge, if you wish to respond. Judge, I'm still uncertain about your answer. Can the United States Supreme Court, on its own, admit a state to the union? Senator, as I, I answered, the Constitution of the United States... Uh, state this is a real simple question. Can the United States Supreme Court, on its own, Admit a state to the union. I understand the answer is no. Okay, thanks. Appreciate that. Do you think the federal judicial system is systemically racist? Senator, uh, I have had, as a sitting judge for 20 years, I have had cases that come before me involving allegations of racism. Uh, I have presider over those. Uh, yeah, but I'm asking about the federal judicial system. Is it systemically racist? Well, Senator, judges apply the Constitution and laws, and we cannot, if you're asking about if judges are racist or the judicial system itself, uh, we apply the laws, but we do not, we, a judge cannot take race into consideration. In well, but do you any, think the federal, you know what systemic racism is. I mean, it comes up every day now in, in America, and uh, do you believe that the federal judicial system is systemically racist? Well, Senator— uh, You've been a part of it. Yes, I can give you an, an example that— uh, the Congress and the Sentencing Commission. Uh, I, I appreciate an example. I'm just trying to get an answer. Do you believe it's systemically racist? Senator, that, that's a question I, I cannot answer. You, you're a sitting federal judge right now? I am a sitting federal judge. How long have you been a federal judge? 20 years. 
And you haven't, you, you've heard these allegations that, that all our institutions are systemically racist and after 20 years you haven't drawn an opinion? Senator, uh, I can tell you um, in my court. Uh, you, we, but you don't have an opinion about whether the federal judicial system is systemically racist after 20 years? Senator, I have to say no. You think it's not? Or you don't have an my opinion? Experience, in my experience. The Wait, let me understand your answer. You think it's not systemically racist or you don't have an opinion? No, I don't have an opinion. After 20 years? That is correct. And you want to be on the Court of Appeal? Senator, yes. Okay. All right, what's your definition of justice? Justice, Senator, uh, to me, uh, means that the law is applied equally to all individuals, regardless of race, sex, uh, position, uh, and that all cases are held, heard by a fair and impartial judge, fair and impartial jury, and that the laws are applied equally. Okay. What is your, your barometer for deciding whether a law that's being applied equally is just? Well, on, as a judge, I have cases that come before me, individual cases. So. I'm not asking about a case. I'm asking about philosophy. Well, how, how, do, how do you just personally look at law and, and determine whether that law, in your judgment, is just? Well, it is, it is not for a judge to determine whether a, ju a law is just or not. I'm not asking you as, as a judge. I'm asking you as a person. I'm trying to understand you as a person. Well, Senator, my whatever understanding I have, if a law is just or not just, I have to apply that law. Uh, I know. I, I, let me stipulate that, okay? Let me stipulate that. I'm not going to ask you how you rule on a case, and I know you're going to file a precedent, okay? You, you're, you're, you, always. I get that. How do you personally look at a law and decide whether it's just or not? It's pretty basic. Well, Senator, that is not the role of a judge to determine what law is No, but it's the role of a human being. I'm just trying to get to know you. Do you have a personal definition of justice? Well, Senator, justice, in, in my particular case... I know it's applied equally, but how do we know a law is just or, in, or unjust, in your opinion? Well, Senator... The, I, I, as I mentioned, I have to apply the laws as they stand, and I have to make Okay, sure let's move on, Judge. I don't think you're going to answer. Do you think, let me ask you about crime. You, you've sentenced people? Yes, Senator. Do, do you think uh, crime is a, is a disease that needs a cure? Or do you think it's uh, antisocial behavior that deserves punishment? Senator, as a... Judge, and I've been sentencing felony defendants for 15 years as a U.S. district judge. Uh, I've always followed the sentencing statute. And in I'll stipulate that. And, and I have but, to. But I'm asking you about if a person commits a crime, do you see it as a disease that needs to be cured, or do you see it as antisocial behavior that, that merits punishment? Well, Senator, each individual defendant has to be sentenced individually. I have had individuals who are antisocial, uh, and when you look at the pre-sentence reports, you sentence them accordingly. You have career offender, criminal, uh, uh, you have other individuals who have- Judge, I can't, I can't vote for you if you won't answer my questions. I hate interrupting you, but these are, these are pretty basic questions that I would expect somebody who's been on the federal bench for 20 years to have thought about. The Senator's time has expired. Judge, if you wish to respond, you have that opportunity. Uh, Senator, I- as a judge, every time I sentence an individual, and I do this on an individual basis, I consider the nature of the offense, aggravating factors, mitigating factors, the person's individual personal history, uh, his criminal record, and also consider the sentencing guidelines. And I apply that exercise on a case-by-case -case individual. 